may be thinking, what is she doing? And this is a little premature. I'm so not a last minute person. So today I pulled out the suitcase and I am throwing a few things in the bag that we will need for the hospital. This is only the week of Thanksgiving, so I realize that. I still have a few more weeks to go, but I have got my bag out and over the next several days I'm going to be adding some things to the bag so right now all I have in here is a little bit of bathroom stuff um just some necessities where if worse come to worse we had some we have some items with us I also like to bring my own bedding now <laughs> I, we just feel more comfortable um, in our own bedding so that's like a big thing for me to be able to rest and relax is to be comfortable and that's kind of hard to do when I'm in you're already in an unfamiliar place with you know unfamiliar things around you so having bedding my own personal clean bedding with me is a big thing it will just help me be more relaxed and more comfortable I also have my hospital gown now this is um, one that I found off Amazon it's really comfortable I really like it it's really cute and it has the snaps in the front and the snaps up in the back so um, really like this I've used this twice and then I have my birth and ball in here now, I've never actually used this if I need it Colby will have to blow it up when we're there um, but it was fairly inexpensive so I have this in the bag as well and then I have some lavender and of course lavender is kind of a relaxing oil so I have this oil with me that I'm putting actually with my birthing stuff and we have gotten started on our bag and like I said over the next few weeks I'll be slowly adding things like our house shoes and stuff like that that we'll need while we're there. So. Alright so as you see we we're in some hunting wear and we're gonna go ahead and uh head to the hunt we're gonna see if we can kill something we need to really our beef we've got about 50 to 60 pounds of beef ground beef left or if beef and our two steers are not gonna be ready for a few months so we really need to, to take one or two deer out this season to kind of fill that that lull on ground red meat so this is the start. Follow me around that side. Of it. Go that way. Right now, I am bottling some kombucha. I have flavored it with organic pineapple juice. And I'm bottling some. Now, if you're new to our channel, again, thank you for joining in. Our family loves kombucha. And I learned how to make my own SCOBY last year. And if you're interested in that process, it's very easy to do. You can check that video out. But right now, I'm bottling, I'm bottling these kombuchas for uh, second fermentation. So basically, what I will do is put my fruit juice in here fill my bottles up not all the way but almost all the way with the kombucha put an airtight lid on it and let it sit on the counter for several days now with what i have left i'm just going to flavor this was a tiny tad from the last batch i got out of the refrigerator i'm going to add some flavor into that and this We'll just go right in the refrigerator to start drinking on because our family really likes Mommy. it. And Mommy. we drink, we try to drink Mommy. at least a cup of kombucha Mommy. every day. What you need, Peanut? Brush teeth. Brush teeth, you already brushed your teeth. So anyway, I'm bottling kombucha. That's what I'm doing in the kitchen right now. To start your own SCOBY is really, really easy. If you can get your hands on a SCOBY, 
um, already made if you have a friend or a neighbor or somebody in your community that can share a scoby with you you can just have kombucha faster um, the process is really easy it's really gut healthy um, so like I said we try to drink at least a glass of it every day um, and the process is really easy the health benefits you receive from it is definitely worth the process What you want, some of what? What is this? Bucha? You want some bucha? You love bucha? So we had about seven, seven deer, two little fawn, and then about five big does. Uh, two really big does. I even took one of them, and the other one was walking behind the, the fawns. Um, but I was trying to see if there was any buck with them, but there wasn't. And there was two does that jumped off. We couldn't see right here because there was too much stuff. But uh, man, all of a sudden, they walked right across. Aiden pulled up and drew and took it out so early now, season too red meat we'll still be on the table it's a blessing she fell so i see her we're good we know she's down we're just gonna make sure we don't spook anything else they, they ran of course but we're gonna give them just a second before we enter the plot it's getting chilly now but hey this she's gives us cold more meat for the winter season it's and really this is our this early in the season. i mean this is our first hunt of the season so to take a doe we wanted to take a doe early we had about seven deer on us came in late all together and that happened to be the biggest one so real pleased with that he did good all right he shot her with the 243 actually a little handy rifle he's had for the longest really he's been a a good little gun actually i hunted with it but this is a nice little gun so he dropped her with no issues a great shot so that was get her loaded up all right so let's uh if you'll move over cows you know farm work don't stop so go ahead and move the cows over get them moved over and we'll get this uh deer taken care of All right, guys, we made it back home. Now it's time to just get cleaned up because I'm pretty disgusting and I'm ready to see my family and eat with them. They had to run to town for a second. So uh, as soon as they get back, we're gonna eat and enjoy some time together. Uh, and, um, you know, it's, it's special because Aiden, uh, you know, not only does he help at the farm, that's just another way for our sustainable meat to just keep on flowing through the winter. As I said a while ago in this video, we have, you know, sheep, we have cattle, we have, um, you know, chickens, pigs, turkey, all that's great meat to have. But we had a law where the beef, our two deck steers are going to be, um, there's a hole between the steer we, we uh, processed out already and two more that's coming. We have plenty of pork, plenty of chicken even, uh, but we were missing that, that hamburger, that ground beef. Uh, we've got about 40 more pounds and, and of course that's not a ton for a family our size so to have this this deer going in the freezer is just a phenomenal thing uh, my son did a great job he had a great kill uh, we didn't have to go search for it that's what I like <laughs> so so I'm very proud of Aiden he did a phenomenal job and um, just always to have good memories with your kids part of homesteading that's so important 
it's, it's hunting. Uh, you, you need to, to have a, a vast array of ways to have food. And, uh, and I believe that's just one great thing. Uh, so, it's exciting. Does this look familiar? Yeah, when you think you get to sit down, you actually don't. I get to get toothbrushes out of the girls' bathroom this time. Happy homesteading, y'all.